Well, hello world. My name is Ashley Collins. Welcome to the Breakup Diaries. And I am so, so, so ecstatic to be sharing this planet with you. So happy to be sharing this space with you. Thank you so much for being present and for tuning in and watching my channel. That's really weird to say. <laughs> it's so weird. I was hanging out with my friend last night and he's like, yeah, she like, she does like the YouTube thing. And I'm like, well, don't make it seem like it's like, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. People make it seem like it's like, it's so casual, it's not easy at all. <laughs> so, when I was younger, I was talking to my homegirl, and I don't know how we even got on the subject, but um, I playfully said, oh, I'm just going to masturbate and go to sleep. And she said, you know that's a sin, right? And I was like, no. I don't remember learning about that in vacation Bible school, because they don't teach you that in vacation Bible school. We're going to talk about that later, though. And then with my first boyfriend... Um, I was so superstitious. I associated everything that bad that happened on our relationship based off of if I masturbated that day or not. So let's say that, um, he got a bad, <laughs> he did, this actually did happen to him once. He got a bad, uh, test score and I was like, it's my fault because I masturbated. I'm sorry. My, my lust and my, my sinful ways have ruined our relationship. Do you hear how ridiculous that sounds, honestly? <laughs> Masturbating is actually really good for you, fun fact, because you're, it releases dopamine, first off, which we, we all know, like, is, are those good feeling kind of things. That's when you get notifications on your phone. That's what dopamine is. Um, and it's also a great stress reliever. And for some people, it's that stress makes them tired, so it helps you go to sleep faster and easier. So masturbating before you go to bed is, you know, actually really good for you. Uh, <laughs> this is the most awkward. Please don't tag my mom in this. <laughs> also, fun fact, something that I learned today, actually, is that it decreases the risk of prostate cancer in men. Bet you didn't know that shit, did ya? You're welcome. <laughs> And I just think that it's so, my problem with religion is it's, to me, the way I interpret it is, and I hate to sound, well, I'm just going to fucking say it, whatever, I'm just going to fucking say it. It's like they're trying to control your body. They're trying to control what you should feel about yourself. But there's nothing wrong with loving yourself, loving on yourself. Sometimes I meditate in the mornings and I'm just like, oh my God. I'm just so beautiful. And, but not in like in a very egotistical, narcissistic way. It's just that, wow, like, look at my skin. Feel how soft I am. And just, wow, the world is just so beautiful. And it's just like the most non-lustful, non-narcissistic form of masturbation. And it's more thought. It's less physical, but it's more thought. Orgasming without touching yourself is one of the most beautiful and mind-blowing things in the entire world and i suggest everyone fucking do it um other perks of masturbation you're learning how to pleasure yourself so that way the part the person that you are sleeping with you can educate them and i think that we don't have this conversation with ourselves so where is that line of oh i masturbate too much that line is when you prefer to masturbate with yourself as, a per, as opposed to with your partner. And you need to have that conversation because they're not doing something right in the bedroom. Maybe you need to switch positions. You know, maybe, um, oh, I don't want to get too vulgar because I don't want YouTube to take this video down. But like you see what I'm saying, just have a, like, having that conversation with your partner like, hey, I like it when I touch myself like this. Or I know my body so well that I know when I'm about to orgasm. You know, this, and understanding what you like in your orgasms, men and women, for male and females. Um, what else? When is it too far? Okay, so I think that it was Don John with, George, with bleh, Joseph Gordon Levitt. That's a mouthful. In that movie, he's a fucking tool who has a masturbation addiction. I definitely do believe that masturbation can be addictive and, um, where, where is that line? If it's affecting your everyday responsibilities, that's when you know you've taken it too far and that's when you know like maybe you should like chill out. Chill out with the fucking masturbating so much. Also, um, it does not say anywhere in the Bible 
anywhere. I swear to God I did my research for this, y'all. I swear to God I did. It does not say anywhere in the Bible that masturbating is a sin. What it does say several times in the bottle, in the, in the bottle, I need wine, in the Bible is that lust is a sin, lusting for other people. So when you're masturbating, obviously you're thinking about, you have, you have a thought, obviously. And it's a problem when you're preferring to picture that person as opposed to the person that you're with. Or it's a problem if you're picturing something that's actually not normalized, that's not good for you. Like if you're imagining fucking a horse, that's the problem. You know what I'm saying? Like let's get to the fucking nitty gritty of it, you know? Um, why am I doing this video? This video is in reaction to, there's tons, oh my god, there's so many videos saying how masturbation is a sin, and there is this, uh, Facebook status that I, I'm fucking dying over. He said that women, when you're, uh, when you're masturbating, you're ringing, you're, uh, when you're masturbating, you're ringing the devil's doorbell, and soon enough, he'll answer. Okay, well, I guess, like, he needs to fucking answer the door then, because, like, I have no problem with masturbation. It's a, it's a great stress reliever. Um, It's a great way to know my body, to understand my body, particularly as a woman who is um on the self- it's exploration, uh, exploration of trying to love herself and trying to like herself and knowing what those limits are for me. I can, I'm able to communicate that with said partner. No partner right now, but you know, whenever that happens, day 607 without sex over here. <laughs> so it's just like no, knowing those limits, understanding between what's right and what's wrong. And I would really love for um there to be a sex ed class. Um, topic on masturbation and the the health benefits of it and also the limitations and also just that's just something that, that in my sex ed class we never talked about masturbation we never talked we never really explored pleasure and self-love and I think that it's something that's very important that's something that we should discuss um also oh my god there's this fucking youtube video I was watching today and this guy was like would you want Jesus to be watching you while you're masturbating? First of all, why are you fucking watching? You know, and second of all, I hope you're into, you're enjoying the show. <laughs> That's blasphemous. My bad. Did not mean to offend anyone. Um, so comment below. I would love to know um, what are your beliefs on that? Or like, is there any kind of techniques that you do when you're masturbating? Um, how much is too much? Um, I mean, I'm not the kind of person who does it every day no one has time to masturbate every day and if you have that much time in your hands like you need to allocate your time better probably maybe i don't know you do you i'm the, only god can judge you if you believe in god or whatever okay <laughs> thank you for watching and being silly with me um once again my name is ashley collins you can follow me on facebook if you like or i would love it if you followed me on my instagram and my twitter which is the aunt of dragons in conclusion love yourself do whatever you can to appreciate yourself because the more that you love yourself, that's going to show your partner how to treat you, especially physically. Because there's nothing wrong with... Sex is normal. Sex is normalized, but it should never be... It should never be unenjoyable. It should never be painful, you know? And I know that some people have their kinks, you know, which is, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. But uh, there's something so romantic and sensual about just being held you know okay sorry like i said day hands are 657 without sex smile have a great day okay guys <laughs>